So what we'll do is we'll have a quick boat tour. Um, I'm just flying the kite as a bit of a test run. A bit more sheet there now. And it does seem to be working fine. So I'm lucky I'm, I've got nice light Dyneema sheets. Those are six mil, really nice to use. Um, stepping aboard. My pole downhaul is pretty temporary. So it's just an orange piece of line. It's going out here around this pole and aft so that it can be controlled easily from the back. Pole up pole, I've actually just used my spare jib halyard, which seems to be working fine for the moment. So here's my pole up pole, just straight to the top. Um, it's a symmetrical spinnaker, so I've got two clues and a continuous sheet all the way around. I've got about 30 meters of, of line there, so that's more than enough for a spinnaker sheet. Um, since we've last spoken, I've replaced actually a lot of the lines on this. So this is a new main halyard. That's again 8 mil Dyneema. I've got two reefing lines and an out hole. And a new kicking, a new kicking strap, new kicker system. And it's all fed back to the cockpit here. The reason for these loops here is you run either a bungee cord or a rope through them and then over time it'll keep all these lines down, pressed down against the deck and it'll help these racing cleats which I'm finding really stupid to use at the moment it should help them work so I'll put a bit of line through that to keep all the, line, to keep all the ropes down um, as we go aft I've also replaced my main sheet traveller lines what's that kite doing? So the wind's actually on our bow, we could probably drop that kite in a minute. Um, yeah, so I've replaced my main sheet traveller lines and my main sheet itself, as well as my backstay line. I've got a nice double pressure system on the backstay. I'll show you that in a minute. So backstay is, you can, it's not really structural as far as keeping the mast up, which means it's more useful for sail trim. So if I'm finding my jib halyards a bit loose, I can just take on a bit of backstay, save me going forwards if I'm single-handed. Um, yeah, double purchase system through this cleat and onto this cleat. For now, I'm using what's left of my uphaul to keep my tiller in the middle until I get an elastic from that D-ring to that D-ring, which will keep it straight. Um, you can record me trying to take down this kite if, it's, if you want. It'll be a bit of a laugh. My kite bag, just the same as a sewage bag, clip it onto the rail so it doesn't fall in once I hoist. And as I hoist, it goes up, and it's just the right length so that it can fall overboard without going in the water. Hmm. Oh yeah, for stowing the <laughs> spinnaker pole, just for the minute. I'm doing my off hole. For those who don't know how spinnaker poles work, you've got two clips on either end. And you've got a line between them. And when you pull that line, it opens the clips. And it saves you having to go to the end of the pole if the sheet is way overboard. Hmm. So you can open one at a time by pulling it either way. The way I clip it on is with this orange loop here. 
over. I'm going up the north. Onto this orange loop here. There, she's so. Do it twice, eh? Cool as cucumber. Thanks for watching the video. And um, we've only just set the boat up, so feel free to leave a comment and let me know how I could do something better, or I'm missing out on something obvious. I probably am. Um, 